Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about safe wheels, unsafe wheels, and what defines a wheel as safe, and what kind of recommended wheels you can buy for your sugar gliders. This video has been filmed before, but then there was um, something happening with one of the safe wheels, which is why I decided not to upload it. And I'm re-filming it now. Things you want to watch out for when you're buying a wheel for your sugar glider is, first of all, you want it to be safe, obviously, and it should be tested. There's a list on sugarglider.info with safe wheels. There's a second one with unsafe wheels. You can have a look at them there too and see what defines a safe wheel and what defines a good wheel. In my opinion, a safe wheel is sturdy and it doesn't have the middle axle. Um, that's very dangerous for sugar gliders because they like to jump a lot when they are running the wheel. So you want something that is basically empty inside so that they have their space to jump a lot and plus they like to run the wheel in pairs or trios and so on. So you need a lot of space, they should be wide enough and they should be big enough. In the back of the wheel you should have enough clearance if you attach it to the cage wall because sometimes the shiggies go behind the wheel and they shouldn't get stuck there. Also on the bottom of the wheel, when you're installing the wheel, you want a decent space to be, or at least this much, yeah, uh, to be there between the wheel and the bottom of the cage because sometimes they like to run from the outside and you don't want them to hurt themselves. Also, in my opinion, a good wheel is not entirely closed. It should have a track that is made out of mesh because she tend to urinate a lot during running. They also poop a lot and uh, that's not nice when they have to run through their own urine. So you want something that's going to eliminate that problem. Also, they risk slipping if they pee in their wheel while running and it doesn't get out and then they can hurt themselves. So that's a big no-go. You want an open track and then you want a quiet wheel. Whenever you have nocturnal animals that like to use wheels, you have to make sure that you find a quiet wheel because if not, it's going to get really loud during the night. I'm just going to start with the most popular Shiggy wheel out there. It was created by Attic Works, also the producer of the Freedom wheel. Their most popular wheel was the Stealth wheel. They unfortunately stopped producing it about two years ago and have switched over to the Freedom wheel. The Stealth wheel was really good, it was very sturdy, it was very quiet, it, it was just perfect, it had the great opening like every other safe wheel out there too, but it had a really good reputation. And it's been on the market for many years until it has been replaced by the Freedom Wheel, which unfortunately was faulty and was removed from the safe list for Shuggies. So that's that. But if you can purchase a stealth wheel from anywhere, it's worth the money, I would buy it, I think it was awesome. Like with all of the other wheels too, in my opinion, after having used the Freedom wheel for a year, they're not as easy to clean as a Freedom wheel, but they're safe. So, you know, it's more important that you have a safe wheel than a wheel that is easy to clean. You do get them clean, but not as clean as I could get my Freedom wheel while I still used it. Adequorks also offered the magnum wheels so you can consider that if you would like something from them i don't know if they're being produced because at the moment attic works has closed but i think they might come back but if you can find one that's gently used you can also purchase that the wheel that is most similar to the stealth wheel that you can buy Today is the Raptor wheel and that is what I decided to purchase after both my Freedom wheels unfortunately broke down. So now I have Raptor wheels in my cage. They're almost identical to the Stealth wheels. They're super quiet as well. I like them just as much as I like my Stealth wheel. I'm very happy with them and I think that they're going to last for a very long time. So if you want to purchase the Raptor wheel, I highly recommend them. I've had them for six months now, I believe. Never had an issue with them. Always make sure that you have enough room for clearance between the wheel and the cage bottom, as I mentioned, but I'm going to mention this a couple times more because I want you to remember this. It's very important that there is enough space between them. Unfortunately, a few shigis 
were unlucky and got really hurt because there wasn't enough clearance so it's very important to me that I mention this to you so that you keep your shiggy safe because that's what this channel is all about the raptor wheel you can buy from my gliders wheels and more and they're super nice i've had long chats with them because after purchasing my two raptor wheels i really love them and i highly recommended them and then i convinced a few people i know to purchase them as well for their shiggies so we ordered 12 more after i got mine they're super nice, they reply pretty fast to their messages. I highly recommend them if you want someone you can talk to. I've just had such an amazing experience with them that I really do like to recommend them now just because they've been so nice and awesome and helping and gave wonderful tips and asked all the right questions, gave all the right answers just to reassure me that this was the perfect fit for my shaggies and just because I'm raving so much about them. I would like to mention this video is not sponsored in any way. I genuinely like the wheels. I love their service and I really recommend them. I wouldn't know if they're better or worse than the other producers out there. I just have had such an amazing experience with them that I feel the need to recommend them to you guys as well. The Raptor also comes in different sizes. They do have a travel size baby Raptor as well. And I think that's quite neat. Like if you often take your shiggies with you on weekend trips and they have a smaller cage you can purchase a baby raptor to attach to the smaller cage and i think that's super cute so there you go we also have variety then from spin zone you can purchase the fast track wheels that are very similar looking to the other safe wheels out there and they also offer the runabout that is the safe shiggy version of a hamster ball hamster balls are unsafe for any pet, also for hamsters in my opinion, but definitely for sugar gliders because their nails are too sharp and they could get caught in the slits from the ball so please don't use them, it's not fun for them and it's also not going to be fun for you if your shiggy gets hurt so please do not use them but if you want to safely let them roam around the house you can purchase a runabout from Spin Zone and have them run in that and i've seen a few videos in the shiggy community i don't have one but if you like that kind of stuff then consider purchasing a runabout from spin zone because they look really sturdy and they're made especially for shiggies they've been tested and they have a very good reputation the custom choice cruisers offer very interesting wheels and i was actually quite intrigued and considering buying two from them when i was looking for replacements but I was put off by the coloring because I want a monochrome wheel in a neutral color because the cage is already so colorful and they only have super colorful wheels and then I decided against purchasing from them but I find it super interesting that the wheels from Custom Choice Cruisers have a bounce to them they're the only ones that are offset so that your shiggies kind of have to bounce a little bit when they're inside the wheel i think that's super cool and i have heard only good things about them but unfortunately it was my color which is why i decided not to buy them if you're interested in something like that i think it's especially interesting for overweight shiggies because they have to put a little bit more effort into running the wheel and maybe they would burn off a few more calories could be interesting for my lily because she likes her snacks a lot and she could use a bit more exercise but so far i'm i'm okay if i ever need her to lose a lot of weight i'm just going to buy a custom choice cruiser probably and see how that works for us if you want to read more info on the safe wheels out there please consider having a look at sugarglider.info they have a whole article on safe wheels and you might be interested you can read more about the wheels that i just listed or you can also read a lot about unsafe wheels what defines them as being unsafe so have a look it's always a good idea to check sugarglider.info because they have so many good articles on properly taking care of your shuggies most of the stuff that i mentioned you can find on sugarglider.info and i used to check that website a whole lot especially in the beginning when i just got my shuggies and i was still very unsure on how to take care of them as you guys know safety is very important to me and i have to mention that nothing is 100 percent safe everything can become faulty even a toy 
a wheel that is considered safe like the issue with the freedom wheels i had mine i was very happy with them and then all of a sudden they started breaking and then mine broke too and i was just confused but it can happen so i'm very happy that they tried to remediate the problem and changed the design i'm not so happy with the way they have done the testing which is why they have also been removed from the safe list from sugarlighter.info I'm hoping that in the future they're going to try to retest them and re-include them on the safe list because they were amazing wheels they were so easy to clean I love mine so much but the scare that I had when I looked into the cage and my freedom wheel was almost completely broken I don't want to go through that again which is why mine are both in the closet unused at the moment I hope you found this video a bit helpful I try to keep it short and sweet I have been getting a few comments that my videos are too long so I hope this is okay for you now and if you have anything to add please do so in the comments down below There's only one more thing I would like to add to this video. We got our very first follower mail and I turned this around because I don't want to show the name. Thank you, Mark or Tim. I'm not even sure right now which is your name, but I'm just going to call you Mark because I'm used to knowing you as Mark. So I am just going to open this on camera. It's still not open, but I don't want to show you guys the address, which is why I'm showing you the back of it. Let us open this really fast. There's a lot of packaging in there. Okay. Should I look? I, I don't even want to look. I'm so nervous right now. Okay, I'm not I don't know what is in front, so I'm I'm just going to show you the front and I'm looking at the back and it's a painting, I'm guessing. I think it's a painting of Dobby because I hope I'm holding this right because he asked me for a picture for my favorite picture and I gave him one of Dobster so let's just see this this looks amazing this is this is amazing this this is wonderful i'm a bit speechless thank you so much now i understand why he really wanted me to get this on dobster's birthday oh my god this is perfect thank you so much mark thank you I feel so bad that you had to pay so much for shipping. This is just... Wow. This is... You, no, I don't... I do not even know what to say. I'm just shocked right now. This is one of the most beautiful things I've seen in my life. This is handmade, I think. I'm guessing because it looks handmade. This is so beautiful. Thank you so much i think this is i'm just going to consider this the best birthday present i got this year because this is one of a kind amazing so much thoughts that you've put into this mark you are amazing thank you for this thank you for being our follower for such a long time now thank you for being so generous with us and thank you for sending me this and whew, this is beautiful thank you so 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 much I really appreciate it a lot. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, and I will add all of the links and names in the description box below. So have a wonderful day, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye. So just so you know, the shuggies are okay too. I should add maybe because you haven't seen them in a very long time. I've been so busy. So let me see. I can show you a few of them now maybe. I can show you skinny little Nala. That's definitely skinny little Nala. Hi Munchkin. You wanna say hello? No, you don't wanna say hello. 
she's not gaining any weight but she's not losing any either so we're happy with that and now maybe we can find the contrast where's little lily let's see can we find little lily what's good say hello say hello to youtube hi youtube hi youtube they're sleeping next to me right now and they're pretty annoyed that i'm taking them out one by one hi oreo say hello to youtube no 